welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill, and today, DeBronca has a recall. It's going to be a very new recall. For those of you that have a 2022 Bronco, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Ford is gonna be issuing a letter sometime this month of September. I don't know the exact date or when, but it will be in September. If your vehicle is part of this recall, expect a letter from Ford. If you have the Ford Pass app, if your vehicle is linked to it, it should have a recall notice popping up on that as well. If not now, it will be soon. So, this affects both the Broncos and the Rangers because the Bronco is built on the Ranger platform. I have my notes, by the way. And if you have a build date of the Bronco from December 8th, 2021, through April 12th, 2022, your Bronco is going to be affected. If you have a Ranger, for those of you watching with Rangers, your build date is December 17th, 21, through April 12th, 22. If you have a Ranger with those build dates, you want to stay tuned. Now, before we get into the actual warranty um, of what it is and what it's about, just know that Ford has done extensive research and they were trying to find out what the cause of it is. They looked at contaminants, they looked at outside contaminants, the paint, the bonding, the curing, the cleaning, the, um, the oven temperatures, the clear coat, the paint. I mean, they've looked at every single thing that you can think of that would cause this kind of problem. And nothing presented any kind of results of what it is or what could cause it. Now, the warranty or the recall, because it's going to be under a warranty thing, the recall is going to be with the windshields. Those of you that are from overseas living in the United States, you'll know it as the windscreen. Basically, in short, the model year 2022 and that build time frame that I mentioned on both Rangers and Broncos, your windshield can possibly detach from the vehicle. Yes, you heard that correctly. Your windshield could possibly detach from the vehicle. So if you get that letter, I would make a service appointment as soon as possible. If you have an oil change coming up very, very soon with either one of those vehicles, have your service rep run it through Oasis, which is their uh, it's a program that Ford uses to manufacture. For those of you new to my channel, um, I have body shop experience. I had to use this program a lot when I did warranty work for the body side of it. Oasis is basically a program that the manufacturer, Ford, will send out to dealerships and uh, they communicate that way. So have them run it through Oasis it takes about five minutes for it to kick back. If the system is really heavy with traffic, it may take a little bit longer than that. But you should have an answer probably within no more than maybe even an hour at the most of whether or not your vehicle will be under the recall. There are other sites if you want to do like the National Highway Safety Transportation thing. I'll put the link somewhere in here, but it will definitely be in the description box below. You can put your VIN number in there, run it and see if you have a recall coming up. Um, this is a big one because it is a safety related issue. Um, I just recently found this one out the night before that I'm filming this. So I wanted to get this out very, very quickly because it is such a big safety thing. You cannot drive a car without a windscreen um, or a windshield. It is very imperative that you have that so that's pretty much what it is. So if you have a 2022 Bronco or Ranger or both in that model or that timestamp of December to April, expect a letter from Ford. I don't know when. It did state it would be sometime in September to keep your eye on the mailbox. If you do not have the Ford Pass app, I would recommend getting it. We are not sponsored by Ford to push that app out. 
I have it and I, I love it. So, and it tells you recalls on even the older cars because my 2012 F350 has some recalls I need to get addressed. But this had a recall for something else. It's not for the windshield. But it shows up on the Ford Pass app, just to let you know. That's why I keep telling you, if you don't have that app, you need to get it. Um, but yeah, expect a letter from Ford. If you have an oil change coming up, ask service to run your VIN through the Oasis system, see if there is a recall. Um, and just know that that model year and in that time frame, the windshields are affected. They don't know what the cause is. They're still working on it. If I find out what causes it, I will do an update video. But as of right now, Ford has no answers. So don't be calling customer service demanding an answer. They do not have an answer at this moment. All right, I will keep you posted if I hear anything. And if there's any more recalls that are safety related issues, I will shove them out that same day. But this is the only one for the Bronco at this moment. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. We do upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time in the afternoon. And follow us on Instagram. And that's it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.